What is up guys? It is Julian Barbosa. I just want to start off by saying thank you to Gillette Drafted. I can't thank them enough for this opportunity. I'm so grateful and I'm so humbled by it all to be honest. This experience has been unreal and it's only been a couple of weeks. I cannot wait for boot camp. I cannot wait to see what's in store for me. But in the meantime, we did have a big, big week in sports. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start off by talking about Elaine Vigneault and him going to the New York Rangers. It's no secret they have offensive talent oozing from this team. With the likes of Rick Nash, Ryan Callahan, and Brad Richards. But one goal out of 10 games from Brad Richards and 5 points from 12 games out of Rick Nash in the playoffs is just not going to cut it. With Henrik Lundqvist putting up a career high 934 save percentage, you need more from your offense. Less sitting down in the press box, Brad Richards, and a little more of this. Which brings me to my point. Elaine Vigneault made a guy like Alex Burles a perennial, not powerhouse, but a guy who would score 20 plus goals every season. A guy who was dangerous on the first line with the Sedin Twins. Now, don't get me wrong, playing on the on line with the Sedin Twins had a lot to do with him scoring all those goals. But a coach like Elaine Vigneault gets the most out of the guys like Alex Burrows. Putting him on a team that's already stacked, like the New York Rangers, I can only see great things coming from that. We all know Henrik Lundqvist will stand on his head anyways. I think this is probably the best coach hiring all year, at least so far in the NHL season. So we talked about Elaine Vigneault going to the New York Rangers. Now let's talk about John Tortorella going to the Vancouver Canucks. John Tortorella, where do I start with you? Media loving, happy-go-lucky John Tortorella. Oh, wait. Is that the same guy I'm thinking of? I, I don't know why. I wish I could play him on a ball, but every time I put him on, he stinks. All jokes aside, I don't like this John Tortorella hiring by the Vancouver Canucks. Look, I'm all up for watching one of his media press conferences for a good laugh, but at the end of the day, you hire a coach to win games. Sure, he's done that in the past, but he's going to the Vancouver Canucks team that's focused on offense. I don't see Daniel Henrik Sedin diving to block shots like Tortorella demands from his players. I don't see Alex Burrows going in the corners and, and hitting guys, at least legitimately, knowing Alex Burrows has passed. But in saying that, the way I see this working out positively, at least, is if John Tortorella can get through to Ryan Kessler. Ryan Kessler is a John Tortorella player if I ever knew one. A big, tough, American kid that grinds it out, hits people, scores goals, is a real leader. He, to me, is what Ryan Callahan was to John Tortorella back in New York. But in saying that, if John Tortorella can get Kessler to buy into what he's selling, then and only then will this coach hiring make sense and work for the Vancouver Canucks. So those are my opinions on the coaching swaps in both Vancouver and New York. But now guys, I wanna hear from you. Tell me what you think, tell me if you agree, if you disagree, I wanna hear back from you guys. Feedback is always welcome. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit like. If you're watching it on Facebook, send me a like, give me a comment below, retweet this if you're on Twitter. As always, I wanna hear back. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Head to www.drafted.ca. Vote for me, Julian B. Daily. Every single vote I appreciate. It means a lot, guys. It really does. While you're there, like my fan page. I release blogs. I update breaking news and stories. Give your opinions. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great Canada's Day tomorrow. And I will be releasing an NHL draft winner and loser video. So check out for that. And again, have a great day, guys. Thanks.